Well, it's a shade after six. Saturday morning. Forecast is uh, threatening. Stand by. We'll see how it goes. I'm a little early. Everybody's getting set up. Bread lady. She got some fancy bread this morning. And what do we call these babies? Oh, these are chocolate croissants, almond croissants, and bear claws, which are basically a combination of of the almond and chocolate. I might have to have one for my breakfast in a minute. If I can find some coffee. If I can find some coffee. Okay, buddy, how are you doing? Mmm, nice. I have to get some in a little while. <coughs> Every day. Been slow again though. Just sauce guys, how y'all doing today? Where's the little goats at? Oh, I left them at home today because I wasn't so <laughs> sure of the weather. It is a little shaky, ain't it? Yeah, and they're getting big and they want to able to get out of that thing. I got you. How y'all doing? Good. How about you? Okay. I'll be back in a little while. Give me some peaches. Okay. Some cantaloupes. Sounds good. The thing is, uh, slow down a little. <laughs> I'm the knife sharpener guy over here. Pizza guy. Seafood guys got some nice looking shrimp. Yeah, there. that's what I'm getting. <laughs> Oysters, crabs, no, red crabs. The best of it. Good morning. How are we doing today? Good morning. Back. Well, the market is starting to get a little busy now. You see the red line is in that line for that bread. <laughs> she got all the business. And I got two pair, my first cousin brought me two pair of cuticle scissors. They were the first time I sharpened at a market, but I sharpened them before. My guy is a hunter, you know, I've done the knives for three weeks in a row. He just brought me some knives. He picked up the ones that I did. This is a knife that he made himself. He bought one of those kits and made it. He said the steel is not the greatest in steel, whatever came in that kit, he doesn't remember, but it's a nice looking knife. Got a micarta, I forget what kind of it was, got red liners in it. It's a nice, really nice looking knife. It's not overly dull by any means either. Got a nice sheath with it, I don't know if he made that or not. I forgot to ask him that, but you can see it's pretty nice. I'll have to find out that. And then he brought me another fixed blade bench made bone collector. Last week, you remember, it was a pocket knife, bone collector pocket knife. So this is a fixed blade bone collector. Nice knife. Mm, I like it. And this, uh, I think he says it's never been used. I'm just going to polish it up for him a little bit. Got a nice looking angle on it. Factory angle. D2 steel. Nice scales. 
stand by. And then next to a pocket knife. One that says everyday carry pocket knife. That's this one. It's a girl, R.J. Martin design. Kershaw. He's got a lot of Kershaws. Got a wide bevel on it. Not too dull. He sharpens it himself. And his favorite little knife, he says, is a spider coat. G2 stainless. Secret City, Japan. I don't really know what model this is unless it is a G2. But I don't think she's ever been used either. She's really sharp. Okay, that's homework. Maybe work here. I don't know. I haven't had any other than cuticle jobs. Stand by. I decided to sharpen up the EDC Kershaw. I'm just about finished with it. I got to do a little bit more polishing on it, but it's really polished and sharp right now. Bad. I just got a set of these to bring back next week, or tomorrow actually. Guy told me he's had these for 20 years. They're made in Holland. He brought them over to this country when he came. They're not in bad shape to be 20 years old. They're tight. They just need cleaning up a little. Stand by. Not many knives a day, just those full pocket knives and that hunter, those nippers, and that pair of hedge trimmers so far. Well, I finished up the Kershaw, and now I'm working on the Spydeco. I have nothing else to do, it's slow for me. A lot of dogs today. A lot of nice taquitos. Stand by. Well, we just got our first knife. First real knife, I should say. A big, a 9 or 10 inch Wustoff. 26 centimeters. Stand by. Well, we got 30 minutes to go. You can see the bread lady is out of business. They don't go to. <laughs> That's all I have left.